out. We are out on our new venture. We're starting a new series, Hunting Florida Wildlife Management Areas. This is episode one. Every episode, we're going to visit a different wildlife management area, go over pros, cons, camping, some good spots to hunt. We're also going to rate it at the end of the video. So stay tuned, uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we're going to bring you as much information as possible on every one of these episodes of Hunting Florida Wildlife Management Areas. Now you see a lot of uh, these videos, which I've seen some good videos of guys hunting Florida management areas, but they don't really reveal where they're at. They just put Central Florida Management Area, something like that as a video title. But we're gonna bring you into the management area and uh, show you each management area. So we are on our way to a Central Florida Wildlife Management Area. When we get there, we'll let you know. We'll shoot some video of us driving and going there. We're getting ready to uh, slip into the management area here. You'll see where we're at in just a few seconds. Well, welcome to Kroom Wildlife Management Area. We're at the Twin Ponds Hunt Camp on the south end of Kroom right now. Um, I'll give you a little tour of the camp. And uh, it's a primitive camping site. I've used it many, many times. I've been hunting in here for about 38 years now. So. Um, we're going to go through uh, the camp briefly, show you what the camp is about. Like I said, it's primitive, so there's not much here. Um, there is, you can come here and camp. It is $10 a night, and i got a drop box here. So even on the off-season, if you want to come in and do some scouting, you can still camp here, and I'll show you that as well. So without further ado, welcome to Kroon Wildlife Management Area. All right, here's a little station here at the... Trim Ponds Hunt Camp. You can, uh, a lot of people park their horse trailers here to ride their horses as well. Just got some information and stuff like that here. Um, probably out of pamphlets. Let's check. No, they got plenty of pamphlets in here, so they keep it well stocked. That's pretty cool. Somebody stays up with it. Except for the wasp's nest in there I just saw. But here you got self-serve pay station, overnight uh, area, so you can camp here. And then you also have a drop box here. Put your envelope and your money right there. See if they got the envelopes in there. Yes, they do. With a bird's nest that they don't want to disturb. So that's pretty cool. And 
and here is basically the camp. It's the south end of the camp. Goes all the way up. You can see the uh, you got numbered campsites. A lot of people pay for these in advance and they pay for the whole year. So when you come out here, you got to make sure you're not on a campsite that's already taken. There's quite a few here. Getting a little overgrown, but it goes way south and then it goes to the west. And you got quite a few camping spots in here. Back in the day, this place used to just fill up. You'd have to share a site with somebody. Real nice area. Nice to camp. A lot of good folks stay here during hunting season, so you really don't have to uh, worry about it. Everybody looks out for each other. Got some really good people that stay at this camp. All right, well now I'm gonna take you over to uh, a couple spots that I hunt in here, uh, good areas. I'll even uh, show you locations as best as I can, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you uh, two or three different locations that I would suggest to check out if you're gonna hunt in Kroom Wildlife Management Area. The good thing about hunting this management area is it is open to the public after the first nine days of gun season. You have a quota hunt for three days of muzzleloader, and then you have a quota hunt for the first nine days of gun season, and then it's open to the public. So if you missed out on the draw, you can still come here and you can still get a quality hunt on public land in the state of Florida in this management area. So it's a really good spot. I have taken 33 deer out of here myself over the course of my 38 years of hunting. So, uh, would I say it's my absolute favorite management area? No, I wouldn't say that, but it's up there in my top five. I can tell you that right now. So, we're going to go check out some spots. Stay with us. And a lot of people use these trails for horseback riding in the off-season. All right, I'm on the uh, south end of Trail 9, just off of the uh, biking path. I'm about 400 yards south of that biking path. Behind me is the Kroom motorcycle area. And what a lot of people don't know is that you can hunt in there during the general gun season as long as it's archery. So if you're an archery hunter, and you want to come in here and you got a quota permit or if you come in here when it's open to the public you are allowed to hunt in the motorcycle area archery only now let me tell you this motorcycle area has been here for decades and decades every one of these deer in this motorcycle area was born with a motorcycle or an ATV or something going past it constantly so it's a huge recreation park it's about 2500 acres but the deer really hold up well in there so that's something to think about if you do come in here and hunt and you're an avid archery hunter i would absolutely park anywhere in here you can go right over the fence in there and hunt as long as you're hunting with archery equipment so it has to be archery only inside the motorcycle area so that's another good tip keep that in mind there's a lot of deer in there. I have seen a lot of deer in there. Actually, I've killed quite a few deer right in this general area myself. So keep that in mind. This is Trail 9 on the south end of Trail 9. 
Um, it's actually, we are just east of the Twin Ponds Hunt Camp on Trail 9. So if you look up on a map and you can see where Twin Ponds Hunt Camp is, we're just east of that on Trail 9. And the motorcycle area, you can't miss it. It's got a fence. I don't know if you can see the fence line in the video. But this is a really, really nice area to hunt. A lot of deer hold up in there. There's hardly any pressure from hunters. Like I said, they're used to the ATVs and the UTVs and stuff going by them. They were born into it. So check that out if you get a chance if you're in Kroon Wildlife Management Area. All right, our next stop, we are at Trail 3 and 5. So if you come to Trail, trail 3 and 5, check out the northeast corner. Go down the, uh, the blue trail, which is the horse trail. It's actually the size of a road. I'll show you in just a second here. But um, it is a, uh, it's a nice little spot. I call this the hole back here. Um, it goes up and then it goes down into a bottom. And it goes back up to another ridge. But it actually funnels way down. And I hunt right down there in that bottom. And that's a really, really good spot. I have taken many deer out of there. Out of the 33 deer I've killed out of here, probably I've probably killed 10 deer off this corner so it's a good spot so trail three and five look it up on the map the northeast corner go down the blue uh, horse trail the, you'll see there's blue stripes on the trees that the uh, forest department paints up there for the horses and they know what trails to stay on you go down that blue uh, trail 350 yards Hang a left and go north, and it'll bring you right down into that bottom. Check it out. That is a good corner to hunt. I really like that corner. So we're going to work our way back out to another spot, maybe stop by the, uh, the check station as well, um, and probably see if we got enough time to take you by the river and show you that side too, because it, it is in uh, Hernando and Sumter County this uh, management area so stay tuned we're gonna bring it to you soon well we're here at the check station it is at the corner of Croom Road and Croom Nobleton Road As you can see these are the skin and racks behind me where they hang the deer um, it is closed I'm sure we all know why Due to COVID-19, the check station is temporarily closed. But this is where it's at. It is at Croom Road and Croom Nobleton Road. So, we'll take you to our next stop. Well, we made it down to the river. And here is the river. It pretty much runs parallel with Croom Nobleton Road, so... Pretty nice area. Like I said, there's a lot of hogs over here on this side. Haven't hunted it much at all. Maybe a few times over the course of the years. But just wanted to show you. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me very well. The interstate is right behind me there. Or behind the camera I should say. But this is another campground called Silver Lake. It's right by the interstate. It, it's part of uh, Withlacoochee State Forest. Uh, you can camp here and they also offer um, for campers too. So you can hook up to electric and water and all that. So this is a campground that's also available to hunt and croon. And there's also another campground called Hog Island on the other side. But you can see that on the map if you look it up on the FWC site and go to the brochure and check out the map. Hog Island also offers a, uh, all these trucks going by on the interstate, also offers a, uh, a campground as well. So you have three campgrounds to choose from while you're hunting and crew. So this is Silver Lake. Uh, it's actually closed right now. The gates are completely closed. I can show you that in a second uh, due to the COVID-19.
And there you have it. Campgrounds closed, but I'm sure they'll be lifting the orders in time for hunting season. This place will be packed. All right, now we're on the uh, very south end of Croom. We are on Trail 14. Behind me is north. In front of me is the south. So this is a um, cow pasture, cow fields that are close to hunting. But you can hunt on the south side of this trail. Now I have killed a lot of deer in this general area. I'm on trail 14 and I'm about 500 yards east of trail 7. So if you look that up on the map you'll find out where it's at and then you can see the open field as well. This is a really good area. Actually the biggest deer I've taken out of Kroom was just, was within 100 yards of where we're standing right now. So it's a really good spot. Get down in here, check it out. It goes down south here all the way to the end of the management area. It's wildlife lane back there. There's some houses, but it's quite a ways back there. We're talking seven, 800 yards between here and there. So you've got a lot of room and a lot of place to hunt. I'm going to take a little walk back there. And um, I think this is going to be our, our last stop. But if you get a chance to come to Kroom, remember, check out 3 and 5, where I said previously in the video. Check out the motorcycle area. You got the campground at Twin Ponds. You also have Silver Lake. You got Hog Island that you can camp at. And come down here to Trail 14 because I'd have to say this is probably my favorite place here. I really really love hunting down here and to be honest with you I hardly ever scout in here I, I, I mean back in the day I did but I come and I sit in the same spot every year if I come down here to trail 14 I know right where I'm sitting if I go to 3 and 5 I know right where I'm sitting you know if I if I'm gonna go into the motorcycle area to archery hunt I know exactly where I'm gonna sit so come out here, do some scouting, check it out. Remember, it's open to the public after the first nine days if you don't get a quota permit. So you have plenty of opportunity to come in here and harvest yourself a deer. So I'm going to take a walk around. If I see anything else good on the video, uh, you know, I'll videotape it. But, uh, you know, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and we're going to be coming on episode two from another management area it might be near you so this actually is in Hernando County so it's kind of centrally located if you know we got people from the metro area in Tampa and Orlando that don't don't want to make a real far trip but it's well worth it to come out here for a weekend it really is it's a it's a great place I kind of grew up in this management area so I kind of know it real well but it is a good place to hunt and it's uh, you're gonna get a good quality hunt and I've seen people's reviews online, and they say, oh, I've been to Kroom for a weekend, don't see, any, don't see anything, I don't see anything. Well, you know what, stop hunting 100 yards from your truck. Get out there in the woods, scout it out, get out there, you're going to have to work for it. But there are plenty of deer in here, trust me, there's plenty of deer in here. If you, if you look and you find the right spots, you hunt the scrapes, the rubs, the bedding areas, that's what you need to look for. You know, a lot of people are hunting these trails, and... And stuff like that yeah they're tore up right now there's a lot of deer track on the ground but when you get a lot of hunters in here and you get 300 hunters in here and they start moving around you know they start to pattern themselves a little different they start to go a little bit deeper in they're in the thicker stuff they're staying in the bedding areas more so you want to focus on trying to hunt those areas and hopefully you'll be successful like I was in this management area like I have been over the the course of the last 38 years so I hope this video served uh, served you well I hope you got some information out of it if you have any questions or anything else you want to add to these videos let us know in the comments below okay we appreciate your time like I said like this video subscribe to our channel and please hit the notification bell thank you